is that you can multiply any number by 11 in just seconds. All right, so I want to try this trick out for myself. So I'm going to start with 39 times 11. So in the video, it says to take the other factor, the non-11 factor, and separate the two digits and put them on the outside. So I did that, 3 and 9. Then you add those two digits together, so 3 plus 9 equals 12, and put that in the middle. That doesn't look right. If I use the standard algorithm, I can see that 39 times 11 is actually 429. So why didn't this work? Let's try a different problem. 62 times 11. I separate the 6 and the 2. 6 plus 2 equals 8. Put that in the middle. This one worked. So when does this trick work and when doesn't it? So first off, we're only talking about times 11 problems. So this will only work when you're multiplying a number by 11. So this trick will only work on two digit numbers. So it will only work when the other factor, the non 11 factor has its digits add up to a sum less than 10. Let's show some examples and non examples. So here are some examples of numbers that will work. Again, they follow our two rules, 17, 26, 72, 81. They're two digit numbers and the sum of their digits is less than 10. The other side, 19, 28, 73, 82, they're still two digit numbers, but their sum is more than 10, so they won't work with this trick. So since this trick doesn't work for all numbers, and it only works for random numbers, not even in a sequential order, I think a better trick or a better strategy could be utilized. So let's look at 19 times 11. So 19 times 11 can be thought of as 19 times 10, and then adding on our 11th 19 at the end. So 19 times 10 gives me 190. We add our 11th 19, so 190 plus 19 will give us 209. And that is our final answer. You could also just use the standard algorithm, an area model, partial products, there's a lot of different strategies you can use that will give you the right answer every time with any number rather than this trick that only works for some numbers.